Hey, what's up? This is Anthony with AGT Exotics, and today we're going to be working on rehousing my OBT. I just recently sexed her mole and found out it's a female, so now I want to give her a little bit something bigger. Um, I plan on putting her in a 10 gallon setup, uh, like a natural enclosure, but I don't have that yet, and I'm still working on what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put her in this uh, basketball display case from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to be using, uh, doing like a false bottom with this cocoa mat. It's a cocoa fiber mat. It's like eight feet by, shoot, I don't know, three feet. And uh, what I did is I hot glued it and I formed it into kind of like a false bottom. And uh, I'll show you a little bit closer here. All right, so here's the false bottom. What I have is a hole for it to get into its hide, right there. And I kind of put a rim around it so that substrate won't keep falling into the hole. And also around the back side, I have a place where you can see into it. So I can uh, see how things are going without disturbing it too much or having to open it up. And also, I made a hatch right here on top. So you can uh, pull out an egg sac or just do any kind of maintenance you would need to do. Uh, that would involve ripping the whole thing out, but you would just have to pull the hatch. And uh, hopefully this will work. It seems to lock in there pretty good, but I'm gonna cover this all the substrate, just like a, a little bit. And also a little uh, poppy plant back here that's all dried out, little flowers. A little natural look to it. All right, so here we go, here's the enclosure. It's one of those uh, basketball enclosures from Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to set this to the back here, push it against the back wall a bit. Let's see how that did. Oh, perfect. So you can see right in there. Should be good. All right, now I'm going to get my substrate. Pour it in there. needs to be. Oh, this is pretty cool already. I'm liking this. <laughs> yeah, it's holding up. I thought it was going to move around a little too much. I thought that would be too heavy, but this substrate's going to be really dry once it's all the way dried out. May have a little too much substrate in here, kind of blocking these air holes at the bottom. I drilled the holes not intending to do it like this, so it's turning out a little bit differently than I intended. So those holes aren't matching up for how I was gonna have it. That's alright, it looks like I'm gonna cover them up completely. I think these top holes should be fine got two rows, one on either side. Um, this is a fairly dry environment for an OBT, so should work out pretty good. All right, 
So there we go. So we got like three inches of substrate it looks like. But an underground deal there. Yeah, I'm liking that. It's pretty cool. Here we go. <laughs> this camera's got me all confused and backwards. I need to set it so it's reversed on the backwards screen so it doesn't keep messing me up. All right. So I guess it's just down to rehousing the OBT. There's a water dish. It's going to do fine right there. I guess I'll go get her. All right. Let's do this chaos. <laughs> So here's the OBT in her enclosure. It's like a nine by a four by four by something. It's definitely time to be housed into something larger. It's about four or four and a half inches or so, maybe even five. It hasn't really been out much since it molted. This is like a, I think, 10 by 10 by 10. Maybe it's nine, nine inch or something. Nine point something. So, let's try to figure out where she is in here. I'm assuming she's going to come shooting out here into this. That's my goal. see much over here but I'm okay with that I should get the other camera and take some close-ups but that's all right okay Let's see if I can get her to calmly go down into her heart here I named her Chitara from Thundercats. Come on. There you go. There you go, sweetie. Easy. There you go. No threat posture, nothing, just backing up slowly. to her new hide. Beautiful. Cool. All right, she's in a new hide. New enclosure. All right, well, there it is. Now she's rehoused and Hopefully we'll be happy in our new enclosure. It's quite spacious in there. I hope it's not too big. I don't know if that could be an issue. But all right, there we go. Thanks for uh, checking out this uh, rehousing of the OBT and my new enclosure and my new, uh, I guess, uh, what do you want to call it? False bottom design using this cocoa fiber mat. You can get this stuff on eBay. I think I paid like 40 bucks for this piece. I've done a couple backgrounds for enclosures, my 10 gallons. I'll probably be using this a lot in a lot of different things. Um, you can easily make hides with it. You can sew it, you can, uh, you can easily sew it or you could hot glue it to itself. I've also made uh, some tubes for um, like a boreal tees that want to, um, you know, like a cork bark kind of look to it. All right. So see you guys next time. Please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, have a happy new year. 
Oh, she's making an appearance. Let me see if I can try to get her. Yeah, she's like five inches, just about four inches. Probably another few molts from breeding.